now recording. The following podcast may have adult humor. Swear words. Innuendos of a adult nature. Making fun of me. That's a given. Everybody looks <laughs> forward to that. But just know that you have been warned. Hey everybody and welcome to the Knights of the Braille podcast. We are the Blind Knights. How are we doing, Jesse? Pretty good. Um, everybody always gets excited, you know, Memorial Day, the start of summer. I couldn't care less, to be honest with you. I don't miss it. Well, I live in the South, so. Right. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. But more or less, it's uh, thank you all for who have served. Exactly. For listening to this podcast. That's the all. main thing, not the start yeah. of summer. Right. But uh, not a lot going on as normal. Um, the Knights of Braille did a lot. We probably these episodes. Yeah, some parts of it know. anyway. Yeah. Um, but I know the Knights of Braille did uh, a stream with Everyone Games for the Global Accessibility Awareness Day. Oh, yeah. Which uh, was, was it last week? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know. I think there's a day for it, like everything. There is. Yeah. Like, I'm actually subscribed. I get email updates every night on like what the next day's day is, and it's some funny shit. I mean, whenever you can have a oh, it's National Donut Day. Uh, probably is. There is. There is. I, I mean, that's cool, but sometimes day. it's like stupid shit. National what? National Coffee Day. Yes. Oh, t- guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is National White Powder Donuts Broken in Half and Dipped in Coffee Day. Do you I know mean- what Wednesday <laughs> is? It's National Kick Richard and the Nuts Toy Vomits Day. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll be at your mom's house, though, because it's National... Never mind. You don't <laughs> need to know. But, I mean, see, some of them are just stupid, you know, but... We uh, we wanted to take this podcast and, you know, kind of explain what we want to do going forward. Um, you know, there's not usually a lot going on because I think, you know, like each group really stays to herself in, in a way like, you know, in Knights of the Braille. Not that we're not f- friendly with other people because we are. But I think the main thing that Knights of the Braille is good for, I mean, there's a lot of stuff, but a place to go if you want to find a group. Right, and then right. Once you find the group, you're just kind of in your group, which yeah. Is cool. You know, um, I know I've gotten less active on Discord and and with the nights other than recording, you know this. But then again, I've had quite a bit going on so far this year. And we know so. the joke about me as far as Discord. Yeah, I'm surprised you even get out there to play the game. You know, so it's crazy. And no, uh, no update for the. Like weekly uh, live in person Dungeons and Dragons because they were closed this past week. But we are meeting this Friday starting at six and uh, going to be going for three hours. And like I've said, you know, going to do one shots until we see the consistency or it's consistency, the right word. Yes, you're right. Eh. So, um, yeah, uh, I've had one of them is my ride up there. So, Really looking forward to getting this started and and seeing where it goes. But are you gonna do any one shots that like we've done? Um, I may, I may. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. I do know that I'm running a session for the Dice Heads coming up on uh, June twenty fourth. So, uh. Look forward to that being posted on the Dice Heads uh, information channel thingy podcast. They're the ones that did the, we did the Christmas one, correct? Yes. Yes, they are. The two, the two dudes from England. Yes, right? T and Cleves. That's right, um, I couldn't remember their names. They were awesome. Yeah, uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, it took a little bit to get the whole schedule and figured out because of... You know, my summer activities, life. life Richard's Father's basically a, a man whore. And he I does am. that on, on Saturday or on, in the summer. He only yep. works in the summer. But, you know, I mean, it's warmer up in, in Latrobe, Pennsylvania in the summer. I'm in Sunbury now, sir. 
I know. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Took him a while, everybody. But finally, got him. Uh, but what, what Jesse and I are going to plan to do is... Uh, we both love the Curse of Strahd. At least I, I believe we did. I did. Yes. yes. Um, oh, yeah. So uh, gonna, hopefully Richmond's not going to have to say every five seconds. There's fog. It could be mist. Yeah. But but that's really about it. Fog. You should and look mist. for synonyms for fog. I probably couldn't remember them though. I know, but I wonder how many there are. Uh, that's probably a pretty good bit. Cloud rain or. Ground rain. I've heard that one down here in the south. I've never heard that. That's cool. Um, but what we're gonna do? We're just we're not actually playing Curse of Straw, but we're going to be like walking through it with you know a couple of characters that we created. Um, I'm gonna continue with the Finn and Green Bottle because I just like that character. He's he's an yeah, idiot he's cool. and he's a lot of fun. You know, and we're just gonna be like. We're going to explain, like, why we're doing this and that. Like, if we come to a perception roll, you know, we'll tell you what we rolled and why we think it's perception. And I don't know, Jess, what do you think? Like, argue, like, oh, well, you could use, like, say, investigation here or... Oh, yeah, well... You know, um, you know something like just to... I think that'll be very interesting for, every, like, to see behind the scenes of a campaign kind of as well. Yeah, um, you know, like, first hand. No. Plus what? Plus we'll enjoy it. Yeah, of course. Um, Are we going to see Periwinkle? Not sure. Possibly. Possibly. But, you know, we just want to... Hands-on really ain't the term, because y'all aren't getting it hands-on. Walkthrough is a good way of putting it. Yeah, walk through... Yeah, Jason came up with a good one there. He gets a, a plus one to his. Oh, um, you said Well, you said it. Well, okay. Okay. Oh, so yeah, so you stole it. So now he loses a, a plus one. But, but when yeah. I was younger, I used to read like walkthroughs of video games because some of them would be like very descriptive. And it's like you're, since I can't play the game, it's like I could read what happened. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I used to look at those in Walmart and like, game stores that we would go in i mean the graphics the pictures and i mean the story and everything it was just really cool so you know since there's not a lot going on especially not enough to fill up a 20 or 30 minute segment or session episode whatever we're gonna do this so hopefully it'll help y'all um you know and eh, i guess that's really about it for that uh We'll introduce our characters here today. I know I'm doing Finn and Green Bottle, which is a halfling rogue. Um, and he's definitely not the best, because if you've been watching or listening to the little snippets, you know, he fails quite a bit. But yeah, I think he's a fun character. Um, can't wait to see how he reacts, like, to things in, you know, Barovia or because we know what's coming up. Right, you know, and and I can say that I don't know how he'll react because, I mean, you know me, I really get into my character, so mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know how he'll actually react until it comes up. You know, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. But he he's rather curious, he's rather inept, but he loves life and, you know, will do his best to have the best life possible. So, Tell us about um. Tell us about your character. Well, I don't know how this is going to go. It could be a disaster, but I'm going to try it. Archibald Winchester is his name. He's a halfling barbarian. Wait. He thinks you know that he's the strongest man. He he's one of these people that like he doesn't see his size as a problem. Like if you were to ask him, he wouldn't think there's anything wrong with him. Like he's wouldn't think that he's any smaller than anybody else. And yeah. Think of like Conan the Barbarian because I just watched that mo part of that movie. But he's a halfling. I don't know how this is going to go but I figured this is the place to try it out. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope that y'all 
enjoy it. And I can't say it's going to be like perfect audio drama quality because I'm just not that good. But, you know, definitely, definitely be fun. At least I believe so. It'll be something different for us making the podcast than just saying not a lot going on. Like it'll give us something to. Yeah, so that we, you know, keep the podcast like current and, and up to date right. and everything. But uh that's all for that. So let's get into um to our books, Jesse. Tell us uh tell us about your book. I got a big one this week. It is Battle Cry of Freedom by James McPherson or McPherson. It is a one volume history of the Civil War era. Um it talks about well to be fully on, I haven't read the whole book yet, but it's one of these things like it's a history book. I know it's going to be good because I'm 150 pages in and they're still on like 1854. They're like setting the stage of, okay, this is what went wrong. This is what happened. This is leading up to the Civil War. It is an awesome read. Like to me, you might say it's dry because it's history, but like, for some reason with history books for me, like the pages just fly by. Like even though it's a 900 page book, like I feel like I'm on page 100, whatever in no time. It's very interesting. It's very interesting to see like what was leading up to the civil war. And I'm just really looking forward to when we actually get into the civil war itself. I feel like the details are going to be like this. They're going to be very detailed and very interesting. And it doesn't yeah. really, it doesn't pick a side, like it gives you both sides. It's not like it's written from one point of view. It's very balanced, I feel like. Now, do you read your, like, history books like this? Do you read it Audible or is it straight up Kindle? Well, I've tried Audible with history books and I don't you know. Fall asleep. I just can't do it. So yeah. I do Kindle. Yeah, I've, I've tried a couple of the, like, history books on Audible, like the free ones. Yeah. It's like five minutes after they start reading, the narrator is so dry. It's yes. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> really but good like, sleep, Kindle, though. I can do really well in. Yeah. Um, cause I read an Alcatraz book on Kindle, and it's like, I, want to read that. I just started this, you know, and it's like already over. Uh, but my, uh, you got any other, like, talking about this particular book? No, not really. I think you would like it. I probably would. I love Civil War stuff. Love it. Especially being down here in the South, you yeah. know. Have you ever been to like a Civil War reenactment? No. I've been oh. to Gettysburg, but never when they did a reenactment. See, I'd love to go to Gettysburg, but um, I've been to Andersonville. I've been to a couple of the Civil War reenactments, and man, they're awesome. They are awesome. Because they actually fire cannons, they actually have a mock battle, and I mean, it's... it's that awesome. would be really cool. Uh, and as far as me, it is Beware of Chicken by Casual Farmer. It's like a cultivation novel. Um, and it's read by Travis Baldry, who is just amazing. Um... In fact, he's one of the main reasons that I got the book because I just, I love his narration. I mean, he... Who also wrote another book that both of us loved. Yes. Legends and Lattes, which was, oh, was excellent. So but um, as as far as this book, it's like this guy, he leaves this temple and decides just to be a farmer, but uh, they have spirit animals, which you know, are... Sentient, sentient, yeah, that's yep, word. Um, so they they're aware of what's going on, and there's one scene where the rooster, whose name is Big D, you know, which is just just hilarious, um, is like doing a fighting montage. He's kicking and flapping, and oh man, it's hilarious. And he has a uh, a boar hog, which is you know the male pig and he calls him <clears throat> chunky or chunky and then he has um you remember peppa the pig yes um well the the female pig is called peppa or peepa 
I'm trying to remember now because I hadn't heard the name in a while. And um, he it's it's just hilarious, and the story is is good too. Don't get me wrong, but I mean they call like the farm the farum. You know, it's it's just hilarious. It's really good, like clean, easy kind of. How read. is it with like the stacks and st- stats and stuff like that? They haven't mentioned any. Um, okay. So it's it's kind of like a lit RPG, but it's I think it's actually considered a cultivation novel. Mm-hmm. Um, so you don't get the, the stats, but they do mention like trying to ascend into the next realm or next level or whatever but it's it's great um i'm already looking at the second one but really 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 i read the back i i guess people would say the back of the book but you know it's digital and it said it's been viewed would they say one million times on royal road which is a site i've always wanted to check out because a lot of these novels seem to like debut there first yeah I've heard of it. I've never gone there either. Um, maybe we should and see what it's about. But like I said, really fun read, enjoyable. I think everybody else would like it. Um, especially if you want to try like a lit RPG, but not too heavy on the stats, uh, which I don't always pay attention to because that's a little dry. It's pointless in trying to remember it, but that's just me. Um, another but, one that I think I would recommend for people that want to get into uh, lit RPG but kind of dip their toe into it is the Cleaver's Edge. Yeah, with, the Orc Chef. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying. I love that book. I'm trying to remember who reads that. I don't think it's Travis Baldry, is it? I read I it on so. Kindle. Yeah, well, I've, I've listened to it on Audible, and I just can't remember who the narrator is, but really, really good. I have the second yeah. book, too. I just haven't got to it yet. Go figure. Go <laughs> figure. Well, I have a lot of Kindle books. Kindle books, I'm pretty good at getting to, though. Yeah. Uh, but again, yeah, really not a whole lot going on here. Uh, be sure to check out the unseen critics if you'd like to hear our review of movies and talking about things from a blind perspective uh got anything else sir jesse not really no well i guess that's really about it so uh y'all be sure to check out next week whenever we come up with the uh the characters and we'll see how it goes from there i'm really looking forward to that see ya See ya. This episode is brought to you by the Knights of the Braille and is made possible through the support of viewers such as you. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to get all of the latest information and episodes. Thank you.